Um, speaking of worlds we live in, pff, retina. 10,000 pixel per inch display developed. This was uh, from the Stanford News Brief. One of the biggest problems with VR Crazy. is the screen door effect or the gaps between pixels that you noticed when looking at a display that's so close to your eyes. Well, it may soon be a thing of the past. Samsung and Stanford have made a 10,000 pixel per inch display that could lead to flawless VR, assuming we had the graphics horsepower to drive the friggin' thing. The new yeah. OLED tech uses films to emit white light between reflective layers. One silver and another made of reflective metal with nano-sized corrugations. Nano-corrugations! This optical <laughs> metasurface... Man, these words are so great. Changes the <laughs> reflective properties and allows specific colors to resonate through pixels. The design allows for much higher pixel densities than you see in RGB OLEDs on phones, but doesn't hurt brightness to the degree that you see with white OLEDs and TVs. Would that be easier to push as well? Like if they're if they're just reflecting things, are you are you pushing? No, them? they're still pixels. In okay. addition to having a record-setting pixel density, the new Metaphotonic OLED would be brighter with better color accuracy than existing ones, and easier and more cost-effective to produce. This sounds like it sounds like carbon nanotubes at this point. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. better and cheaper and easier. You're going to love it once we can make uh, uh, more than one of them. Samsung is apparently already working on a full-size display using this 10,000 pixel per inch tech, and the design of the corrugations makes large-scale manufacturing viable. Wow. So this may just be a question of when and where rather than if. That's, that's awesome. Pretty, that's pretty exciting. 